Welcome to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board and find out what categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Starting off with WrestleMania celebrities, followed by WrestleMania guest referees, WrestleMania ladder matches, WrestleMania main eventers, and last but certainly not least, WrestleMania entrances. And yes, this is a special Wrestling Jeopardy, all about the show of shows, the showcase of the immortals, the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. So let's jump in and kick things off with the 200 point round. Starting off with this world famous recording artist showed out in his first ever WWE match, teaming up with Damian Priest at WrestleMania 37 to defeat The Miz and John Morrison. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd see a bunny destroyer that night. The correct answer is Bad Bunny. He's a fighter. Oh, wait, wait, what the hell is he doing? Whoa! Oh my God, are you kidding me? On to WrestleMania guest referees for 200. Dubbed the end of an era, this WWE Hall of Famer officiated the Undertaker vs. Triple H Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania 28. The sweet chin music into the pedigree combination was the one time I actually thought The Undertaker's streak was going to be broken. The correct answer is the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. It's not over! The streak lives! Let's go to WrestleMania ladder matches for two. WrestleMania 2000 saw the tag team division steal the show with a superb ladder match as this team defeated the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys. And the correct answer is, who was Edge and Christian? That brings us to WrestleMania main eventers for 200. This wrestler's first WrestleMania main event was at WrestleMania 31 versus Brock Lesnar, which turned into a triple threat loss when Seth Rollins cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase. I acknowledge you, Mr. Tribal Chief. The correct answer is, who is Roman Reigns? And closing out the 200 point round with a clue from WrestleMania entrances at WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, this hip hop legend wrapped Sasha Banks' theme as she made her memorable entrance. The correct answer we're looking for the dog father, Snoop a Loop, Snoop Doggy Dog. Yes, y'all, so fresh, y'all. Snoop Dogg and Sasha Banks, we're the best, y'all. All right, you made it through the first round of questions. Hopefully, you went five for five and got yourself a sweet 1,000 points. Now things get a little bit more difficult as we go to the 400 point round and WrestleMania celebrities. This boxer was all about the money when he agreed to fight the big show at WrestleMania 24. The correct answer, who is Floyd Money Mayweather? That's a pretty sweet left jab. Like boom, 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 pow. <laughs> All right, on to guest referees for 400. After retiring from the boxing ring with a career record of 56 and five, this boxer returned to the squared circle where he served as the greatest special guest referee during the main event of the inaugural WrestleMania. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The correct answer is the greatest Muhammad Ali. Moving on to WrestleMania ladder matches for 400, this polarizing and controversial wrestler won back-to-back -back Money in the Bank ladder matches at WrestleMania's 24 and 25. Tell me when I'm telling lies. The correct answer is, who is CM Punk? Next up, we go to WrestleMania main eventers for 400. Despite what various social media tropes and memes may lead you to believe, this wrestler boasts a modest, 3-2 record in WrestleMania big matches. And of course, the quotations are referring to Big Match John. The correct answer, who is John Cena? And closing out the 400 point round with WrestleMania entrances, this legendary rock band performed Triple H's entrance music at WrestleMania on two separate occasions. It happened at WrestleMania 17 and WrestleMania 21. The correct answer is, who is Motorhead? All right, here comes the 600 point round, going back to WrestleMania celebrities. 
After shocking Sami Zayn with a taser, Johnny Knoxville scored a pinfall victory at WrestleMania 38 by trapping Sami in this massive mechanism. This match had everything, should have gotten seven stars from Dave Meltzer, but the correct answer is, what is a mouse trap? All right, let's move on now to WrestleMania guest referees for 600. At WrestleMania 13, this UFC legend served as the special guest referee for a no disqualification submission match between Bret Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the answer is the world's most dangerous man, who is Ken Shamrock. Jumping back over to ladder matches for 600, the first ladder match in WWE pay-per-view history occurred when Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon battled for the Intercontinental Championship at this WrestleMania. And the correct answer, what was WrestleMania 10? The greatest ladder match ever. I, 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 I'll second that. <laughs> Bringing us to the WrestleMania main eventers for 600, the tagline for the main event of WrestleMania 5, featuring Hulk Hogan versus the Macho Man Randy Savage, was the Mega Powers what? And the correct answer? The Mega Powers! Let's go! Here at WrestleMania 5! And we're closing out the 600 point round with a clue from WrestleMania entrances. Former NFL punter Pat McAfee made his WrestleMania debut in Dallas at WrestleMania 38 with a stupendous entrance that featured this squad. Not only did the Boomstick have the White Stripe Seven Nation Army playing, he also had all 36 of the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. All right, 15 down, 10 to go. If you're having fun, well, how about you hit that subscribe button and also click all notifications so you find out whenever we come out with a new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. Back to the game going to WrestleMania celebrities for 800. This game show legend played a prominent role at WrestleMania 7 where he served as the guest ring announcer for the WWE Championship Clash between Hulk Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter. I can only hope that one day I will reach the iconic level of this man. The correct answer, who was Alex Trebek? And we're on to guest referees for 800. Stone Cold Steve Austin has served as a special guest referee at WrestleMania this many times. And the correct answer is three times. It was WrestleMania 20, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 23 for the Battle of the Billionaires between Bobby Lashley and Umaga, and WrestleMania 27 in that barn burner of a match between Jerry the King Lawler and Michael Cole. Here comes ladder matches for 800. Fans were stunned when Zack Ryder won the Intercontinental title in a ladder match at WrestleMania 32 after getting a last minute spot to replace this injured wrestler. No wonder this guy is such a bastard these days. I'd be grumpy too. The correct answer is Neville, AKA Pac. Let's go to main eventers for 800. Besides The Rock and Roman Reigns, this other member of the Bloodline family tree was the first to main event multiple WrestleManias. And he did it in back-to-back -back fashions at WrestleMania 9 and WrestleMania 10. The correct answer, who was Yokozuna? And the final clue of the 800 point round from WrestleMania entrances, this American new metal band played the American badass version of The Undertaker to the ring at WrestleMania 19. Keep rolling. The correct answer, of course, Freddie Fred Durst and the band Limp Biscuit. All right, we've reached that time, the most difficult round of the game, the 1,000 point round. The steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music begins to play. You better get ready because these questions, whoo. Let's go to celebrities for 1,000. This diminutive Jersey Shore star tried her best at WrestleMania 27, teaming with John Morrison and Trish Stratus versus Dolph Ziggler and Lay Cool in a six person mixed tag match. 
And the correct answer we're looking for, who is Snooki? On to WrestleMania guest referees for 1,000. Bret Hart got his revenge on Vince McMahon for the Montreal Screwjob at WrestleMania 26 in a no-holds-barred lumberjack match with this Hart brother serving its special guest referee. I really wish he wore those cool sunglasses for the entire match, but he didn't. The correct answer we're looking for, who is Bruce Hart? Moving on to ladder matches for 1,000, the Hardy Boys won the Raw Tag Team titles in the ladder match during their surprise return at WrestleMania 33. But what team walked into the show of shows as champions? And the answer we're looking for, who was Gallows and Anderson? Let's go 1,000 points, WrestleMania main eventers. It's crazy to think that this wrestler main evented WrestleMania twice, at WrestleMania 8 and again at WrestleMania 13. And the answer we're looking for, Psycho Sid. Sid Justice at WrestleMania 8 and Psycho Sid at WrestleMania 13. WrestleMania is the biggest event of the, of the world! And closing out the regular Jeopardy round with WrestleMania entrances for 1,000, this rapper accompanied The Godfather and D'Lo Brown to the ring at WrestleMania 2000 while listlessly reiterating the words, Pimpinate, Pimpinate, Easy Man. And I think he might have even set a record for the number of times you can say Pimpinate, Pimpinate, Easy Man. Maybe like 69 times or something like that. I don't know. Low brow joke. I'm sorry. The correct answer is, who is Ice T? Now, are you ready to possibly bet it all in Final Jeopardy? But first, let's find out the category. The streak. We're obviously talking about The Undertaker's phenomenally iconic streak at WrestleMania. Think about how much you know about the streak and place your wager right now. All right, time is up. Let's take a look at the final Jeopardy clue. The only WrestleMania casket match The Undertaker ever competed in was against this wrestler at WrestleMania 22. Good luck. The only WrestleMania casket match The Undertaker ever competed in was against this wrestler at WrestleMania 22. And the correct answer is, who is Mark Henry? And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing and turning on all notifications so you can always find out when we come out with a new episode. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.